You issued an apology on social media. What would you like to share with us today? Uh, that I'm remorseful, and um, I definitely could have used a better choice of words. Uh, you know, coming from humble beginnings myself, I never want to belittle anyone, uh, regardless of their financial status or their occupation. So I really just wanted to apologize for what I said. How do you gain or regain the trust of the fans? Just by continuing to move forward, um, just taking it day by day. Uh, trust is built over time, so it was, I'm sure there's nothing that's going to happen overnight. Um, just got to continue to make the right choices moving forward. Evan, did you have to address this with uh, Dave? Told us you talked to him. Did you have to address it with your teammates as well? Um, I mean, that's our business, um, but I did address them because I felt like they should know because you know, they may get questioned about it um, from you guys. I just wanted to let them know, you know, how I felt. When was this, and where? And I'm not going to elaborate any further. Were you upset with yourself when you realized you made comments that would be received in such a negative fashion? Um, to be honest with you, when I made those comments, it was just out of a moment of frustration. Um, right now, we must play better as a team, and uh, I must perform better myself. And I just kind of let the, my frustrations get the best of me in that moment. And then I think what everybody wants to know is, were you speaking for yourself? Or is that a message that's been told to you from up above? Or shit is common in this locker room, the idea that, you know, booing and fans don't matter. I mean, it came out of my mouth, so I said it over my words. You mentioned frustrations with your own play. What specifically is frustrating you the most about how you're playing versus what your expectations are of yourself? I mean, right now I'm just not you know, performing uh, at my absolute best. We're not performing as a team to our absolute best, and it's frustrating when you're a competitor, when you want to win, and uh, you know you put a lot of hard work into something, and you know, you're not getting the result that you want. Uh, it's tough, and it's frustrating. Is this the first time in your life you've ever, uh, we all know you went to Alabama, so there was nothing but success there pretty much. Uh, but is this really the first time in your life you've ever really been on a losing team? Yeah, since my freshman year in high school at Okeechobee. But I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't label us a losing team. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's peaks and valleys, and you know we're just navigating this valley, man. We'll get there. Sorry. What was the last 24 hours like for you? Normal. I got a lot of texts and phone calls, but outside of that, pretty normal. Do you understand that you really can't get into a fight with the fans? I wasn't trying to pick a fight with anyone, honestly. Um, that was just a moment of frustration, and um, I kind of said something, although it wasn't my intent, intent to offend anyone or anyone's occupation. You know, that's how it came across, and I own up for that. Um, I definitely could have just used a better choice of words for sure, but... I mean, hey, I love the fans that support us and, uh, you know, are behind us and want to fight for us and cheer for us. So, uh, you know, I just apologize to those that I offended. Have you considered, like, getting off social media or taking any steps like that to avoid hearing things that might put you in that mental space again? Maybe, man, but who knows? I mean, we live in a digital world, you know, so if I'm not on social media, somebody I'm close to is, and they may send me cut-ups or send me something, so... I mean, the way the world is now, I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, tune out the negative noise, but you just can't let it affect you. You got to move forward, and uh, we must get better as a team. What do you want the fans to know about Evan Neal's character? I want the fans to know that um, I'm a human like everyone else, and uh, if you ask anyone that's ever been around me, uh, they always speak highly of me. Uh, nobody's perfect, uh, including myself. Um, and I just want to apologize again um, for the things that I said yesterday because, um, you know, it's unacceptable. And uh, I just couldn't use a better choice of words. Obviously, when it comes to fans, uh, this, goes, this is bigger than just the football side. Did you speak to ownership? Did they, come, did they try and talk to you? Did it reach that level? Family business is our business, is, is our business so um, I don't want to get into that. Evan, how, how has this, if at all, changed the way you view things and the way you've been performing or how you would react in the future? Um, well, you know, you just got to be careful with the words that you choose. You know, so if anything, um, I'll be quicker to hear and slower to speak.